Hi everyone, this is Chauncey K. Robinson, the Twisted Girl Next Door, and today we're slicing open and getting into the guts of the ritual in 6 minutes, 66 seconds or less. Let's get creepy. The Ritual is a British horror movie that came out in 2017 and a fun fact about the movie is that it's based off of a novel of the same name by author Adam Neville. The plot of The Ritual is that four friends decide to go to Sorok National Park which is in Sweden and they basically go on this huge hiking expedition. Um, it's something that they do annually but this year it's very special because they're taking into account that their fifth friend was killed in a store robbery gone wrong. And the backstory that's shown in this is that basically the main character who happens ends up being our main character Luke was sort of the reason why the fifth friend died because they went into a store together while all of them were hanging out and the two of them Luke and the dead friend who wasn't dead at the time go into a store and basically when the robbers come out Luke runs to hide leaving his friend kind of vulnerable and basically the robbers end up beating his friend to death while Luke crouches in fear and doesn't actually go to his friend's aid. So there's a lot of you know backstory and intensity between the friends because what would naturally happen is basically the friends, there are some friends in the group, the other three, who believe that it's Luke's fault that their friend died. Things get super weird after that. And basically it's a hunt against of them to get out of the woods because there's something trying to keep them in the woods. We don't know a lot throughout the film on whether or not it's supernatural. It's definitely supernatural. You kind of, you I mean, that's not really a spoiler within like the first 15 minutes. you realize it's supernatural. I think the heart of it is the friendship. Um, the friendships between the guys um, in the sense that they are together and you are seeing their friendships even though we all know since it's a horror movie some of them are probably going to die. Um, that's not really a spoiler. It's a horror movie. People die in horror movies. But in the sense of heart that you actually care about their friendships and you actually see their reactions when their friends die that you actually care a little bit and you're actually a little bit affected. And I think the movie definitely did a good job of having that balance, making it so you're not super depressed when people die because that always sucks. I think sometimes some horror movies make it so you care about the characters way too much. And then when they die, you're just kind of bummed the whole time. You can't really enjoy the dismemberments and the guts and the stabbings and that's no fun. Is this movie scary? I have a bias. I don't necessarily care for the woods. I like nature. I don't want to get lost in woods ever. So I thought it was scary. There's a monster somewhere up in there. I'm not going to go into detail about what that monster is. Um, the movie doesn't go into very much detail about what that monster is. Everyone's afraid of the dark. Even if you say you're not, you can be afraid of what may be in the dark. It's very much a heavy bro film in the sense that they're all guys. Um, there's only two to three women and they play very minuscule parts in this movie. First I was a little biased. I'm like, oh my gosh, we're going to have to sit through a whole hour and a half because this movie is 90 minutes of bro, a bro talk. Oh, I, you know, screw this one or something like that. But some movies very much fall into that when they have all guy characters or guy scenes. And so this film actually made it so these people were three dimensional and they weren't just all talking about getting laid the whole time and making jokes, fart jokes or whatever, like stereotypes that they like to do of guys when they're in horror pictures. So that was nice. So they were actually human. Questions were left unanswered in this movie. If you are someone who you like it so everything is answered and at least you know what the monster is, where the monster came from, why they got stuck in the woods, who was this person, the backstory, why was he having these visions, you will hate this movie. This exposition in the beginning that really resonated throughout the entire film itself, which made all the impact when it came to um, who got killed or who didn't get killed and what happened to them, their deaths, how they were leading up to people maybe getting killed. And it did it in such a way that it made it so it resonated. So if you like that sort of thing where there's a little bit of a deeper um, dynamic to the old school horror in the woods theme then I think you'd like this for sure because I definitely liked it. Um, it was a little depressing. Sometimes I like happy horror films where there's happy dismemberment and overall I think the ritual is something that you should definitely give a stab to because it was a good quality 
horror film, scary movie, old school horror, lost in the woods, don't know what's going on in the dark sort of a film. And I, if you like that sort of old school thing, you'll definitely like The Ritual. So what did you think of The Ritual? If you watched it, comment below and let me know what you thought and if you totally agree with what I said, if you think I'm out of my mind, which I happen to be sometimes occasionally. And make sure that you press that subscribe button down below so you can stay in the know about all my upcoming horror movie reviews. Let's get creepy together. Thanks for tuning in.